Today we're driving classic Formula 1 cars in the F1 game and we're taking a trip down memory lane. Now I got inspired by a recent video on the official Formula 1 channel where Leclerc was paying tribute to Gilles Villeneuve who drove a variation of the Ferrari 312T. We're going to start off driving today the T2 which was driven by Nicky Lauda in his fight with James Hunt and then the T4 later. It's a spectacular looking car. I mean all the classic cars really uh, in F1 2019 were beautiful beautifully modelled and looks so, so sweet. And, you know, in the novelty of it, they were a lot of fun to drive. You know, personally, I didn't drive classic cars a lot on F1 2019, but now the fact we don't have them in the current crop of the last three F1 games from Cody's kind of makes you reminisce and miss driving the cars occasionally. And what a car this was. Listen to that engine, man. <laughs> That is such a sick sound. Old F1 cars, they sound the best. Like, current F1, I love it. I like the racing. We get some banging races. We've got some great drivers, but old F1 cars, that the old era, the old bangers. Just so good. <laughs> Cockpit cam, oh, this is good. This is good. And we're around Britain Short, which is also another circuit. That we can't do now in the older, in the uh, current F1 games. I don't know why we ever got rid, or Cody's ever got rid, of the short layout circuits. They were so good for little ex ex exhibitions like this, or just even fun little random races with mates online, or scenarios in Grand Prix mode. You know what? Uh, chase cam's not great for F1 games, but I'll take chase cam for this car. Look at how sick that looks on the rear end, man. <laughs> Hold it, hold it, oh, 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 I just about held it. These cars, very much like Charles noted, very little downforce, very little grip, and somehow they still went like the clappers. Right, though, I think it's time for a race. It's time to slap up these absolute nobodies back to where they came from. And where that is, is about 1955. I've changed the FOV slightly so we can actually see a bit more in cockpit cam because I feel like this is the best camera for the classic cars. Here we go, five red lights for three laps around Silverstone Short. It's a very wheel spinny start. It's fine though, keep it calm. Put to the floor and be brave. That's what it's all about in these cars. Being brave. Here we are. No. Bravery was achieved. But we're in the gravel trap. And just like that, we've magically recovered from that gravel trap in an instant. And we're ready to go again. Moreno, give me that arse, mate. That sounded so wrong. Now, let's, let's, let's reel that back. Right. Send it down the inside. Here we go. Oh, Vissa side by side with Michael Ski. These, na <laughs> these names are basically the equivalent of FIFA pro club randomers. I'm expecting Schultz to come up on my inside when I next try and defend the move. Made a double pass though on the two Lotus. We've got a lot of McLarens here up the road though. We've got to do Ferrari proud round the inside. Next up it's Schiffer. No! Oh! Oh god! These cars are wide. These cars are so wide. I thought the move was done. It was clearly not. Easy. Easy. Two laps of glory left. Can we get in the points from the back of the grid? Round the outside. Oh, what a move. Oh, banging tyres. But you know what? It's the olden days. All right? That's what they did. Bit of banging. It's fine. And that was just behind the scenes in the garage. Nice little James Hunt reference there. Boris Clark, you mind, mate? Come on, Clark with an E. It's the B-Tech, Jim Clark. It's Clark with an E. Come on. Oh, my. Forrest. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Matey. Watch it. Oh, this is sick, though. What a view. What a view. Oh, down the inside. You know what? I just thought that view there. How sick would it be to have VR and then the classic cars? That would be sick. They so need to add classic cars back in at some point as we're now closing up on the top 10. This is it. Can we get one measly point? It's all about not scrubbing off too much speed in these cars because there's such little downforce to carry it on. 
You know, if you're just kind of unnecessarily slowing down, it's not going to help anything. But it's fine, because we're going to do this. Never let them know your next move. See ya, suckers. Okay, you need to get that position back. Oh, shut up, Jeff. You're not even the engineer anymore in the F1 games. 20th place. But if you think about it, it's 20th place in the olden days, where time moved a lot slower. Okay? So... Actually, my 20th place, my race time, was actually enough for second place. Just knock off the zero. And now it's time to try them around Monaco at night. This is a spectacle and a half. And these guys are so bloody wide, I'm going to get very frightened about trying to go side by side anywhere. Really? Do I even dare make a move? This is cool, though. This this is cool, though. This brings back some nostalgia. Not of the classic cars. Just nostalgia of playing classic cars on F1 2019. Like, I never made really any content that much with them. I think I did the Senna versus Prost, like, mini games, And that was it. But maybe I should have maybe played a bit more classic cars back in the day. Because uh, this is a lot of fun as I go neutral the hairpin. Because I literally can't tell which gear I'm in. Through the tunnel... Oh, bumpy as ever. <laughs> Oi, cutting that fine. Over the curb. I've lost the P3. Can I get it back? Through swimming pool. The iconic shot. And it's <laughs> it's much more of a chat. It feels a bit more skatish through there. I'm going to say challenge-wise, you know, it's still massively quick in the modern cars. And you can get it wrong, but it feels way more scary in the old cars. Everything did. Down the inside. Can we do it? Oh, God, no. We just about squeezed through back with the rear cam view because this is sick as well this car the t4 very very cool it's got those nice little gold finishes ah no nah, this is a sick view that's sick oh i'm actually driving better in chase cam than i am i was in cockpit oh my god send it the rascas dive bomb oh 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 he's made it <laughs> Oh, I didn't get the move done, but we survived. We survived. The drifting was nice through there. Come here, Forrest. Give me the P2. Give me the P2 that I also got at Silverstone. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's close. I'm literally, oh, look at that close up. Oh, can we get, ah, I, I want to make a move there, but I just can't. Come on. Yeah, gaining, gaining, gaining. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Slow it down. Oh, God. Spin for style. Yeah, buddy. Come on. 360 no scoped in there. That's how you do it, folks. That's how you do it. And so our journey with the classic cars comes to an end. It's been a nice throwback and experience. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly full-on content. And I'll see you guys around. Goodbye. <laughs>